Hey Cheer Yogis, Kirsty here. Today we're going to be doing just a quick little core workout on our chair. This is an amazing exercise to do, adding on to a current chair yoga practice or just doing it on your own if you're looking for a little bit less but still to get a little burn, a little movement in your day. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So we'll begin on our chair, sitting up nice and tall, and right away starting to pay attention to your belly button. And then pulling your belly button in, not so much sucking your stomach in, but starting to engage your core. From here, we'll take a full inhale, and a full exhale. One more, breathe in, and breathe out. Good, we'll begin with a little warm up. So we'll bring our hands to our shoulders, opening up through those elbows, and just slowly shifting left to right here. And every time you twist, kind of start to notice the core engage from left to right, starting to wake up the obliques. Just for three, you can take it nice and slow if that feels better. For two, and one, arms down by your sides. Our first exercise, we'll just sweep the arms up and we'll try and lift those legs as well. Good, exhale, release the feet, release the arms. Again, arms up, legs up, legs down, arms down. Now every time you lift, notice what happens in the core. It pulls in and it engages here. So even though we're working the arms and the legs, the core is the center from which everything is moving. Two more. So vital and crucial to have a strong core, right? To gain strength and mobility in all areas of our body. Last one right here, arms up, legs up, hold, pulse for 10, nine, you've got it. Keep breathing, eight, seven, six, feel the core, five, Four, three, two, one, release. Good work, wiggle it out. Next exercise, we'll bring our hands behind our head. Open our elbows up wide, breathe in. Exhale, round and crunch. Good, inhale, open. Exhale, round and crunch. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Let's take five more, open. Exhale, crunch it in. Open, whoo, crunch it in, I'm feeling it. Open, crunch it in, last two, you've got this. Open, last one. Open, crunch it in and hold. Pulse right here, elbows towards your tummy. Nice and slow for three, two, one, release, great work you guys. Our next exercise, we're gonna be moving into the obliques. So those are our side abs. So we're just gonna take our hands behind our head again. We're gonna draw that right elbow all the way across the body and just give it a little tap. This is sky right here, by the way. Option here to just pull and tap. Or another option here is to pull and lift the opposite knee and tap. Okay, that can get a little challenging, so take your time. Pull and tap. Good, a few more. Pull and tap. Good, pull and tap. Last one. Pull and tap. Hold for three, two, one. Now right back to center, I'm feeling it all the way over to the other side. Remember, option here to just keep the foot grounded and just draw the opposite shoulder across. Or you can lift and tap. These are kind of like mountain climbers, but seated, right? We can still work out just as hard. We can get all of the benefits from our chair. No need to stand up, no need to go for a run, right? We just activate, we breathe, and we keep moving. We've got three. Good, we've got two. You know this last one, we're gonna hold for three, two, one, back to center, release. Really nice work here, guys. Let's kind of stretch out the core real quick by pulling the chest forward, looking up. 
and then rounding into our spine. Really good work. Last core exercise here. We're going to find our hands behind our head once more, but this time elbows point forward. From here, we're just gonna draw the elbows towards our knees, tuck, and then lift to the chest, nice and slow. Exhale, elbows to knees. Inhale, lift nice and slow. Now, every time you crunch, engage, pull the belly in and lift. Good, you should really start feeling that here soon. We've got five, four, three, good, last two, and one, nice and slow. If you're feeling a little lightheaded or dizzy, that's okay. Just take a moment. That was a lot of moving up and down a few breaths here. Our last exercise, we'll take those legs, send them all the way out. Your arms can reach forward and we're just gonna take little flutter kicks. So really trying to keep the legs straight right here. You can even start to flutter the arms if you want more for 10, for nine, eight, you got this, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, it's as simple as that. You just completed your core workout for the day. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, Subscribe for more videos just like this one. I'll see you next time on your chair. Peace, namaste.